what is up you guys it's been a while what I'm going to do right now um as you know I don't know if the when was the last time I did the rant of the day dude I feel like doing um, doing one right now but doing something rant of, of the day you have to think about something that has been going on like recently like the past few months or so so this rant of the day <coughs> let me get myself comfortable is towards against towards the non K pop fans. So this is this is titled as um rant of the day, non K pop fans dissing Korean artists that they don't know. So we seem to have a lot of this during since last year, throughout this year. Now ever since the YouTube uh, music awards um this was already happening by the time when Girls Generation won their award. I so I remember, like it was this, I think it was twenty thirteen. Sorry, wrong. Not last year. Twenty thirteen went through twenty fourteen to, to this year, basically. So yeah. So I don't understand why is whenever when a famous artist is nominated. Yes, you will see like Western artists, Latin American artists. Excuse me, um, European artists and Asian artists, and some others, African, Jamaican, Caribbean. So I don't understand why is it always when it comes to Korean pop music, only the Koreans, that someone has the gut, has the gut, has the nerve to say who is this individual, they're not even famous. Whoa. I mean this was just this really recently happened this year. When Big Bang and and Twenty One were nominated for their award for the YouTube a music music videos award, um music award um this in there was this individual just spouting nonsense saying who is is that who's 21 who's big bang they're not even famous hashtag ariana grande slayed my son or daughter i'm sorry darling but ariana grande is not that is not really that big. And to be honest, her vocals, yes, they're good, but they're not as bad as Ailey. Bro, if you ever diss Ailey in any second, if Ailey was nominated, I guarantee you Ailey will eat Ariana for Grande, Ariana Grande for breakfast. Because you cannot compare, especially for, for a rapper like CL, do she's queen, like, how dare you, like, really no, like, really though, like, in what sense did you decide to diss two, two kings and queens of K-pop, cause bro, Big Bang, thank god they're back, I mean, yeah, they were nominated for Fantastic Baby, which, duh, I'm not surprised, it's been for more than three years, nearly like going to four years, if they didn't come back. Um, they basically did their own thing for a while, since 2012 they were all together doing Fantastic Baby, and went huge, they got more views, and this and that, and then, GD did his solo, more solo art, solo songs, throughout 2012. Throughout 2013, then Taeyang 2014, uh, wait, no, that top as well, between it, I think 2013 and 2014, around that time, and then Sangri, who did 2014, if I'm wrong, I think it's 2013 as well, and then you got GD and Taeyang last year, like not so long ago. Really good comebacks. A 
Betty, do you need a collab with Skrillex and CL? They became kept busy and then this year they came back with two MVs. If you re remember, I did two reactions. Sorry for the squeaky voice, but still, I did two reaction videos. They were amazing. I love. Yes. And then they got more to come throughout the year, which I was aware of. So, oh. Okay. So, what I'm trying to get at, what is for, it's for K pop fans, non K pop fans. Um, it's better off not to say anything. Is my advice. My advice is. Don't put, don't type anything. If you see unknown artists, what is the point in dissing them if you don't even know them? If you don't know them, research. Dude, use your common sense. That's why we got internet. That's why we got Tumblr. That's why we got radio. We got music. We got the whole thing nowadays. I don't understand why the hell... Would you start commenting nonsense when you start saying stupid things without even thinking? Um, you kind of forget. Are you guys are dinosaurs? Like, do you forget this internet? Do you forget that's why we got this thing called on on this computer on the laptop, mobile, iPad, tablets. That's why we got this thing called internet where or Google. You Google or go to Wikipedia. I don't know. Because you write down the word K-pop, it would immediately would come out. It would immediately just show you this big fat list. You go scroll down all the way to the bottom of Wikipedia. There it says name of groups. Like, you just tap it. Or click it. You have from 90s, 2000s, 2010s. Which is like 2010... 2010, 11, 12, and 13, 14, 15. Therefore, you use your brain. This is how I was able, before I ever became a K popper, this is how I was able to be aware where K pop Frank came from. So it's just, it's just using your common sense, really. It's just, it's no, it's no, um, what's the word? I know people are going to hear about Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style is a totally different thing. So you got to remember, music is music. So you, it's like when someone, when I heard someone, um, there was people could could keep comparing J-pop and K-pop. Please stop doing that. Uh, honestly, please stop uh, stop uploading it. It's good to compare sometimes, but sometimes this this comparison is it turns into war. It, is, it turns into fan war, and sometimes it's not healthy, and it's very tiring, very tiring, especially for me, to read every single comment. I know I shouldn't be saying this on camera, but it's just it's just one like example of how people are generally on the internet, especially YouTube and Tumblr and Facebook, um, and Twitter. So they just spout nonsense that should have been said and there was one comment thank god i speak spanish uh as you know i speak fluent spanish uh there was a one comment on spanish that someone was saying that i was like oh i, do, I barely listen to j-pop because because it's very childish that they all think they're all childish you gotta remember j-pop is a different world to k-pop K-pop's got a lot of Western, Western inspiration, whereas J-pop not so much. So you got like Kiari Pamu Pamu, you got Nana Mizuki, you got Nana Kitada, you got Ankafe, you got Screw, you got TM Revolution, you got uh, what's this group? Perfume. You got Baby Metal. You got so many artists, and you got more artists. Um. I don't want to mention because there's so many artists at the moment uh, in J-pop um, and J-rock. You can't really say they're all childish. Yes, through the exception with AK48 and Guardian and Biono and Kiri Pami Pamu, which is kind of childish, kind of cutesy concept because it fits well. 
well, it fits more to Kyo Pamu Pamu than some of them because Kyo Pamu Pamu is naturally cute. She doesn't need to be hard to put someone. Oh yeah, this the makeup is a bit much sometimes, but sometimes it goes with the outfit that she wears. So what I'm trying to get at to is that we, we shouldn't be making um, dissing artists. To be honest, I should be more um, dissing Asian music in general because people just diss saying. And there was one point of I think if you remembered. I actually wrote a long ass um comment on one of um Triple A's um video. Um if you don't know who's Triple A, obviously Triple A is one of my favourite groups in J pop. I love their music. Um they're well known, really well known. One of them did um a J drama with um Yusuke Yamamoto on Tum Tum the Stroke of Tumbling. So he was lucky. So he, I mean, made the. I think he made the group even more famous because of that show. Probably not, but hey, um, what I'm trying to say is that this group is very unique, and obviously, K-pop fans or non-K-pop fans, whichever, um, started to compare them to K-pop. Why? Why would you compare them to K-pop? They're totally different, guys. You gotta stop comparing these groups to the other because it's not the same. And this this next thing with the incidents with with this guy, uh, what's his name? V, the tongue twister V from B Bangtan Boys. When he did a cover, when he um, when finally. Bangtan Boys won the um won something on the music shows. Uh, I think it was the first time <laughs> I don't remember now. Then first time. Um, that's when um V decided to sing "Loser" from Big Bang, a little tiny cover song. You gotta remember, people get so offended. They get all uppity and they get all off. All ratchet for no reason. Ugh, really, really, guys, are you really gonna do this? I gotta feel sorry for V. Like V, V really look up to. V did say he really, really look up to um Big Bang, in many areas, and you guys just saying, oh, it's disrespectful because he's singing loser. Huh? Are you kidding me? Like, really? Are you joking? You're, you're, you're really just. This is just, just too much. How could you just say that? It's like me complaining about someone making a cover song of ACDC. Why would I complain? It's freaking music. It's music to the world, guys. And people that look up to other artists and make cover songs I never heard anyone complain but when it came to K-pop do chill out it's just a cover songs I as I'm I don't, I'm surprised the funny thing is you don't complain about about Spanish Spanish cover songs or English cover songs because remember did you did the did anyone ever complain about about um, Jung Hyun, Chinese Jung Hyun, doing the cover songs of Alejandro Sanz. Are you serious, guys? I have never heard any complaint whatsoever from that one song that he did that was interpreted from Spanish to Korean. Bro, and now you're complaining that, that V is doing a um, Big Bang song? Are you being for real, guys? Ah! Oh my god, dude, you ha you need to take a chill pill. <laughs> Seriously, dang. Like, come on, it's not your song. It's like, it's not a, it's not a possession. Like, seriously, chill out. It's like, it's no big deal. It's not a big deal. I don't know why you guys decide to complain for no reason. And like Dre say, this, some of you guys just take the smallest tiny little speck 
and make it so big, make a big issue of it. Why? Why do you make a big issue about it? It's just a song. It's like, how many cover songs has people have made? How many artists have made a cover songs of Michael Jackson? There's so many, plenty of songs. Has anyone complained? No. But for some reason, V decided to make a cover song of Big Bang and you guys complain. Like, who said it's disrespectful? Like, oh, uh, some people need a slap when when people just complain. It's like, seriously, this is the first time I ever heard someone complain. Like, literally complain over something that tiny. <sighs> That's off my chest. I love you, dude. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh Christ, I have to take out the dog. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that's all for me. Um, yeah, just don't make it issues. Don't diss other artists if you don't know them. Just research. Um, please, guys, fellow K popers, you should know better. Don't complain about artists doing a cover songs because. That's just plain stupid. That's the most idiotic argument anyone could make. And an idiotic excuse, if I could say, anyone can make. It's just child. That's all. That I would say is childish. And people that complain about V's personality, dude, don't complain. That's how he is, dude. I like it the way he is. But, anyways, you see plenty of childish people around the world. I don't see you complaining about that. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that is all for today. <laughs> so, please remember to subscribe my channel, like this video, share this video. Also, um, <laughs> follow me on my social medias, um, like my fan page on Facebook. And also, um, thank you for those who are keep continuing supporting me on my story. So, thank you very much. So. Annyeong everyone and Salang here.